Hi, I'm Dr. Vince Balanzi. Just reading an article about the fact that too little sleep can actually create insulin resistance, which in a sense is the way diabetes gets going because you're not responding to your insulin as well. You've got to put out more. Eventually you can't put out enough insulin. You can't control your blood sugar. You're diabetic. So sleep has been associated with that, the lack of sleep. If you're not sleeping, they've actually, through, study, through, through this study, found that you're less sensitive to your insulin. And we know that exercise will stimulate the transport of blood sugar even independent of insulin. But it seems that if, you have, if you're not sleeping well, if you're not regenerating you, your body, if you're not, in a sense, getting ready for the next day, lack of sleep directly relates to the lack of ability of insulin to work. So for diabetics, this is a pretty important thing or somebody pre-diabetic, or somebody that's just started to lose control of their blood sugar. Get it back. One way to do it is to get some sleep. Sleep is so important, and it's, it's something that people tend to give up really easily. Once in a while, you can stay up late to finish a product, project or something. If you're not careful, you may even reset your hormonal balance, though, and end up not being able to sleep for an extended period of time. Or if you're in what we call sympathetic dominance, you can't turn your brain off. You need, generally, about three trips into REM sleep. It takes time to get there. So most studies indicated about seven and a half hours to get, to get those, those cycles done. And uh, if you're not doing it, you're going to end up with problems. We know that homo other hormones are imbalanced if you're not sleeping. This study is showing that you're going to have insulin affected. We know your thyroid's affected. So sleep is every bit as important as a good diet and as physical activity. You've got to put them all together. What I want you to do is learn how to design a lifestyle. If you've got any health issues at all, then your lifestyle is not designed enough in line with the way your body works. That's what it comes down to. So if you're not getting the results that you want, if you're not as healthy as you believe you should be, if you're having health concerns and challenges, if you've got any disease at all that needs to be managed medically, then your lifestyle is most likely out of sync. It's not quite the lifestyle, even if you think you're living a healthy lifestyle. And it might even be healthy for somebody else. But if your lifestyle isn't what I call congruent or isn't in sync with the way your body is designed to work, I mean, and this is based on how your ancestors lived their lives because they left marks on your genetics and they used your book of life, we'll call it, to, in, in one way to survive. If you're out of sync with that, if you live a lifestyle, again, that might be healthy for somebody else, it may not work for you. So it really is upon you to find out what works. Again, if you've got health, weight, social challenges, probably there's something in your lifestyle that needs to be changed. And sometimes it's just a little fine-tuning. It's not always some big grand change. But look to your lifestyle. Look to engineering a better design. And that's a solution to many, many health problems, if not all of them. So this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Keep in mind the fact that you have a lot of the power. You have a lot of ability to make yourself a better life. Stay healthy.